Welcome back. As we earlier said, we're going to be uh, uh, pay, uh, uh, focusing over the president's visit to Suha Governorate, uh, where he inaugurated a number of mega projects there. And of course, he talked about the importance of voluntary work being a key upgrade to societal uh, life and achievements for sustainable development goals. Also, he inspected the Omodoma village, one of the most important projects of uh, uh, decent life uh, initiatives uh, in Tahta district. And also, he inaugurated the uh, Sohag uh, Teaching uh, uh, University and also the Sohag University. And uh, um, 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 of course, he inaugurated many other uh, projects. We're going to be talking about it in detail in this uh, segment. And we're very delighted to be having over the phone live with us uh, Dr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst. Good morning, Dr. Amr. Good morning to you, and I'm even more delighted. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year to the whole uh, Egyptian nation. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, uh, uh, let us first uh, shed light over uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's efforts to develop uh, with the de development projects, especially in Upper Egypt. Uh, we all witnessed uh, a new mega project in Upper Egypt. We've all witnessed that Upper Egypt is uh, again and again and again a part of the, uh, the development plan. Uh, plans all, uh, all over the state. Uh, I believe that Suhag is in the eye of progress right now uh, as we are speaking. We are, we are building uh, a new generation through uh, uh, high uh, measures of, of education and uh, we are witnessing that youth are now in Upper Egypt are being uh, treated the same way in other uh, governorates like Cairo, like Alexandria, like any uh, other part of the uh, Republic. Uh, most important, we're talking about mega projects in Upper Egypt that was uh, neglected for decades. Mm. For decades, Upper Egypt lived without a proper way of life, proper way of uh, making them, giving them, giving them a way of life, mm. uh, not, not to mention uh, <clears throat> they were denied the right to have their uh, projects, their, uh, their factories, their uh, uh, job opportunities, uh, as well as the same. They were treated like in the, in the, in the past regime. We have witnessed that uh, both Sinai and Upper Egypt are being treated separately than the whole, the, than the whole republic. We have witnessed that today we are given them back the rights in projects, in mega projects, as, as, as a part of a greater uh, plan for the whole uh, republic. The Egyptian nation is witnessing the same measures of those uh, projects in a Western uh, Bank of Egypt, uh, to Matruh, to Sinai, to, uh, to Alexandra, and, and of course, in the center in Cairo. Mm. In Upper Egypt yesterday, we have witnessed that Suhag, one of the, 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 uh, the places in Egypt that filled with energy and sources uh, and opportunities. And now we are taking uh, those uh, opportunities and those sources uh, of uh, development in mind and using it and mm. making it a part Mm. Uh, of the greater Egypt that we are building right now. Mm. Uh, let us first, before we get delve into details, uh, take a closer look over uh, the uh, statements that were given by President Sisi while he was inspecting those development projects in Suhag. He, he, he had, there were several highlights uh, statements made by him. Well, I believe that he's, he's speaking about uh, the potentials of the Egyptian person mm. in Sohag, in Upper Egypt. Uh, we, are, we are witnessing that uh, he, he, he is uh, reviving the, the, the way of living, the, the way that people would think and dream and have ambitions mm. in, uh, to, the, to the future. Mm. I believe that he's waking up uh, a new generation, a new uh, hope 
uh, for uh, the, 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 the big country that we are uh, building right now. And Upper Egypt is a very important uh, in this project. Upper Egypt is the soul of Egypt. Historically, historically uh, Upper Egypt is the soul of this country. This is the source of, of life in this country. Mm. Uh, in Upper Egypt is uh, the, uh, the main shield of this nation. Too many po people do not re realize this, but the, the, the leadership, they know it. They know it by heart. That's why they are shedding their uh, and pouring their attention to, to Upper Egypt right now. Mm. We need uh, for the whole republic to, to be uh, side by side and equal uh, developed so we can all go together as, uh, in harmony uh, for a better uh, measures of a project, better uh, opportunity, uh, job opportunities, better way of uh, um, measures of life uh, as Egyptians that we deserve as a whole nation. Right. The Prime Minister Mustafa Mbouli said that New Sahak City have been at the forefront and the most important uh, third generation cities targeted for real development. And he added over uh, that the past eight years, the state's main objective was to improve the public living uh, conditions of uh, the citizens. Talk to us about what does the government have in store for cities like Sohag or governorates like Sohag? I believe that we we, uh, we already realizing that uh, the new cities, which which are more than 20, uh, 20, 20 new cities in mm. Egypt, exactly. are built uh, by the measures of the fourth generation or the third generations of cities. Mm. Uh, we are building this country upgraded to the to the highest level of development all over the world, known all over the world. The same measures are applied in Upper Egypt, uh, whether in Suhag or other uh, governorates. Mm. We are talking about uh, equality. We are talking about human rights. We are talking about uh, greater and stronger economy. We are talking about uh, people living uh, in a way that they, they realize that they are part of the future, not just uh, not a part of the past. I believe this is uh, what the, the meaning of new cities built uh, upon the measures of the uh, uh, the fourth generation cities and the third generation cities. Mm. Right. Um, of course, meanwhile, during uh, his visit to Suha governor to, to inaugurate those development projects, uh, the president made uh, in particular an inspection tour at Omduma uh, uh, village, one of the villages uh, that uh, are targeted uh, for uh, the development under the presidential in initiative Haya Karima or Decent Life in Upper Egypt. Uh, he, had, he also had breakfast with the, some of the families there and it was a nice gesture from him talk to us about uh, one of the most successful presidential initiatives Haya Karima uh, made by the president well it's more now it's, it's now more than uh, just an, uh, an initiative it's a whole project it's a whole uh, mega project I, I believe it's a mega project uh, of the, the, the leadership Mm. And of course, uh, Upper Egypt is a part, is the main part of a uh, decent life uh, project. In the village of Omudoma and other too many uh, villages, the new villages, the new hope, the new way of life they are, that the leadership is building and giving uh, to families, uh, which have uh, dealt with poverty and need for the case before we are believing that I believe that we we are witnessing um, a, tr a true uh, beginning of a renaissance in Upper Egypt. We ha we, got, we can never have a, a true renaissance without building that human, 
without making the human feel that he is a part uh, of, the, of the leadership mind and the, le- and the leadership projects for, for the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that building a better life for uh, those who uh, suffered for too long is a main <laughs> project all by itself. And it's more than just an init- uh, initiative. Mm. The president also talked about uh, Sohag in the sense that it has never been marginalized. And he talked about uh, 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 the need for conducting development, uh, adding for that the government have uh, set £7 trillion pounds, uh, that are assigned for uh, carrying out the first phase of the initiative of uh, Hayek Karima. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, he mentioned that it's still a humble sum, but they are uh, allocating uh, that sum of money uh, to be able to uh, impact uh, development projects there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I am talking about. We're talking mm. about a sustainable development. Not just a project being opened and just uh, forgotten, but a, a, a part, a main part of the whole scheme of building Egypt. Uh, in Suhag, I believe that uh, the people felt uh, so very much welcoming and so ma- very much opening, opening arms to the visit and to the mm. groups and to the, um, uh, the opportunities of a better life that the, the leadership is giving, giving it to them. I believe also that uh, without this, without hope, based on solid ground, nation can never be uh, built. I believe that Suhag truly uh, is, is, very, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a symbol for the whole Upper Egypt, not only in Suhag, but in Asyut, in, uh, in other uh, places in Upper Egypt, where mega projects are being cultivated. And never talk, the President of Fatah Sisi is just using a very a, a golden rule. He never, never mention or talk about a project until it's already started and uh, established on the ground. He doesn't go up in the, the project uh, assembly and, and go away and leave it. He stays building it. And when it's established, he, he announces it. He's, he's talking about it on the ground. This is a very important thing we are talking about here. I believe that the, the, the Upper Egypt is feeling now that they are really part of uh, Egypt's uh, future. Right. Also, uh, uh, among the highlights of statements uh, that uh, was taken by President Sisi in Suhag, he said uh, that uh, there is importance, quite an importance for new ideas uh, that lie in the ability of solving those uh, uh, problems uh, or uh, um, executing uh, those ideas through untraditional means or rather out of the box. So if you'd exactly. like to elaborate. Yes, uh, of course. We are uh, in Upper Egypt. We have witnessed uh, all generations from a century before or even thousands of years before too many um, intelligent people uh, and um, very smart minds and beautiful minds and creative minds mm. and true leaders for this nation was, was born in Upper Egypt. Mm. So uh, the, 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 uh, this part of, uh, of the mind of this nation uh, was asleep. <laughs> Uh, for, for, for a long while, mm. Mr. President of the Sisi, the leadership, is waking up this mind. Waking up the, 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 the mind for uh, uh, that creative mind to, to be a part of planning what's coming and uh, engaging with the, the, the challenges that the nation, uh, the nation is fa- facing right now. We need to confront the challenges within and abroad with a, a, an awakened mind and the upper Egypt have too many uh, citizens and uh, too many uh, potentials and too many uh, generations to take part of this uh, this battles 
we are uh, about to, to, to achieve and, and to win. Development means building the human. Development meaning building the mind or waking up the mind that was mind that w- that were asleep for for too long. Mm. So I'm talking about the new measures of of, of uh, education that are being applied in Upper Egypt uh, schools and uh, and uh, universities. <clears throat> mm. um, I believe that uh, this is uh, through uh, modern measures of devel- development that uh, Upper Egypt is witnessing right now. Right, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst, would like to thank you so much, and you have a good day.